before I mount the tabletop to the workbench, I want to figure out where the hole placement it will be for the lathe. This one's a little bit tricky because you can't reach the screw holes to mark them from the top. You have to somehow figure out a way to reach to line them up in, from the bottom. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of craft paper and trace around it from the top and then also punch out these holes here and then lay the craft paper down to the position where I want it on the workbench and hopefully that way I can get it lined up just right and then screw it from underneath the tabletop. In the end, I came out with something like this. It has the placement of the bolts where they're gonna get threaded through. I'm going to take this to the top and drill from the top downward, a size probably a little bit larger than the bolts. And then from there, what I'll do is, from the underneath side, screw the bolts in. What I'm going to do temporarily in case I have to move the tabletop is just clamp it into place and work that way. I'll drill it in, I'll screw it in afterward. Now what this machine takes is an 8 millimeter threaded bolt course. I uh, found these out by just finding whatever bolts I had lying around and fitting them into place until I finally found the size. And then I went to the hardware store and made sure to get the correct um, exact measurement. I found out it was a metric 8 millimeter. So what I'm going to do is use a larger drill bit to give me some wiggle room in case I need it in case these uh, holes aren't exactly lined up. Now it's time to give this a test fit, see if I uh, got the correct positioning. There we go. I got it. It worked out right. This thing is nice and secure. It's not going to move anywhere. Now I'm going to correctly align the bench top and screw it into place. So here is the completed workbench. I mounted it to the tabletop and the tabletop is screwed in now. And I put some items in the shelves just to see how things will look. You see I have some sandpaper, my mask, wood glue, epoxy glue. Down below I have space to put my one inch belt sander and my bench grinder. Up top couple lathe tools sitting there and then I mounted my uh, Dremel multi-vise 
You can see here I purposely made it so they have some space behind the lathe for uh, any, like here's pen blanks or any other little tools or parts you might need in near uh, vicinity. And then here I put a light here clamped to the top, tabletop that is, but it's probably going to be temporary. Um, I just have this here just to see how a mounted light would be. I probably wouldn't need it because of um, above lighting, but in case uh, this bench was taken on the road, it'd be good to have um, a clamp on lighting source. Also there's room for improvement. Um, a fixed light could be installed above the lathe or also a power strip could be installed on let's say the side here with some switches but there you have it oh there's other one, one more thing to note if somebody does decide to make this style of bench which i used the mobile workbench that steve ramsey designed the bmw and then i modified its design I would strongly recommend going to his site to uh, get the plans for that and modify it as you see fit because I believe it is um, a free download from his site. It's a great design and it's really sturdy and strong so I would strongly recommend that. But also no matter how the size that you decide to make it, make sure that you account for the center of gravity so that when you mount the lathe it won't tip over like if you put it too far on one side or the other. As you can see here, I mounted it center of the workbench so it doesn't tilt over. So you just want to give a count to that if you decide to make it mobile. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. Cheers. Mm -hmm.